Hi, hello, it is me. I'm just coming on here quickly to let y'all know that I am putting up this video with my camera audio. I had to clear out a lot of space in my laptop over the weekend and I accidentally deleted the audio from my microphone. So please enjoy and accept this version because I didn't want to make it a voiceover and I was doing a little chit chat. So please enjoy this chit chat with subpar audio. Thank you. How y'all doing y'all all right? I'm good y'all. Filming on a day that I should not have to be filming because I was being productive yesterday. Filming three videos, looked at the footage, my makeup was trash. So here I am refilming. I'm not gonna do the same look. The foundation that I'm using is new and it's a little light. So it left me looking a little ghosty like I was wearing a mask or something. and. You can see it, it's on the podcast on my other page. So I will put that link in the description box down below if y'all wanna see that makeup. And if you want me to recreate it, I will be more than happy to because I actually really like that makeup look. So now I'm gonna actually put my hair back so I can see what the hell is going on. Still not wearing contacts. I'm just out here blind, but that's okay. I'm a little bit more focused today. I was rushing yesterday, so. I'm actually gonna do a look today. I've been getting a lot of inspiration from Instagram. The look I did yesterday, that's in the description box. I got from a makeup artist that I saw on Instagram. Today I'm doing a very easy fall look. I saw this um, on Beats by Deb. I think I've actually done a look like this before, but I wanna do it again because it's super easy and I'm really feeling the vibe that she was, that she did and I'm really feeling those colors. So that's what I'm in the mood to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. To prime my eyes, I'm using this Morphe Translucent eyelid primer <sighs> yeah at first i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and post it whatever it's not that bad but when i was editing the podcast i was like it's very bad and the only reason i put up the podcast one is because i mean i oof, it was already late and i had to put it up i was just gonna put it up as audio only but i was like you know what i do like my eyes <laughs> i'm still gonna post the pictures on the gram i'm just gonna edit my hairline f that the pics are going up honey so the palette that I'm using is the Makeup Revolution and Tammy Tropical Twilight Palette. I went on ahead and busted it out. And this is for you, Christy. This is look one of two that you requested. If I start getting extra hype, it's because I had half of an energy drink. And y'all know, or you may or may not know, but I'm very sensitive to caffeine. I should not be drinking that, but I needed a little boost. It might have been too much though. All right. So this look is super easy. It's just three colors and some shimmer on in the inner eye. Very simple look, but it's very pretty. Perfect for fall. So the first shade I'm going in with is this dark brown shade called Coconuts. You know, I might have to actually go into a different palette. I, want this, I might want this to be a little bit darker. I don't know, let me see. Let's see if I can pack this on. I'm putting this like right up to my crease and kind of a little bit above it. Next up, I'm going to take the shade Sundown. Next, I'm going to take the shade Sunrise. So we're just going up, you know, lighter colors and a gradient effect. I'm using the same brush for everything and this is a BS Mall brush. I bought these off of Amazon. I don't even know if they have this, these anymore, but they have a lot of brushes on Amazon. They're very nice and very affordable brushes. BS-Mall. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description box down below. I do wish this brown was a little bit deeper. This is the deepest brown in here. I want it to be a little bit darker, but I'm gonna stick to just using this one palette. Then go back and pack try to pack a little bit more brown down here. I don't really think it's gonna get any darker, y'all. Next, I'm taking this mustard uh, yellow shade, Dusk. Next, I'm gonna take this really pretty gold shimmer shade called Sunrays. I'm gonna put that in my inner eye. I 
Next, I'm gonna draw my eyeliner. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. I'm gonna use this Big Fat Liner by Rockins Cosmetics. Nice and simple like that. Tap of the brown like so like that. For mascara, I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I know a lot of weed and makeup lately. I already, you already saw the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it now, but my in my boxy charm, I got a cannabis like face mask kit. I do wish the brown was a little bit deeper, but I'm not mad at it. I'm really here for it. And I will put up Beats by Dad's picture next to me when I'm done at the beginning or at the end of the video, something like that. It is inspired by, okay? It's not an exact, you know, I'm not good like that. It's just an inspired makeup look. For primer, I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now, I know this foundation is going to be a little light. Don't worry y'all, we will make it work. Y'all know the deal. I haven't had the best luck lately with picking my foundation shades online. Usually I'm really good with that, but lately it's been a struggle. I even just reordered another shade in the Huda Beauty foundation because number one, it was still on sale. It should actually be here today. So I'm gonna film with that, the darker shade this weekend. This foundation, I might get it in a darker shade too because I do really, really like the way that it looks on the skin. But let's see if we can get this shade to work today because yesterday, y'all, I literally, like I was wearing a mask. It was just a whole, y'all will see, y'all can see. Go look at the, um, go look at the video, y'all. The foundation I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and I got the shade 400 in. <sighs> Don't be alarmed. It has a strong, uh, it has a strong chemical smell. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. It's not bothering, bothering me that much, but I do notice it. Definitely taking this down my neck. As y'all can see, it's on the light side. The thing I don't like about trying to pick the struggle that us melanated people are having is like our undertones, they only have like one shade in a certain like shade range. So like, if I were to get the next darkest neutral shade, it would be way too dark. And I don't even know that they had the, um, a next darkest neutral. It's all like red and golden. It's like, listen, you need to offer undertones in varying shades all the way down the line. Don't just offer like a tan neutral or a deep tan neutral. It needs to go to like dark, deep neutral and stuff like that because look at this. I'm definitely, my undertones are like neutral to golden, but y'all it's just a struggle you know and it's up into my hairline today played me yesterday that played you girl got me looking like a fool all right let me put my lashes on quickly because i see them getting dry these lashes are from aliexpress The finish of this foundation is so pretty. I do like the luminous finish that it gives. It's just very, very pretty. All right, now let's go, let's do some blending, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take this Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium by Makeup Revolution. Just gonna go around and do some blending here. Make me look like a human again. Mask off. For concealer, I'm using two concealers. I'm using this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade Tan Bronze. I remember I told y'all I had this in a darker shade and I needed it in a lighter shade. This was supposed to be the lighter shade. I actually wanna order this in a lighter shade for actually like highlighting under the eyes because I really like this concealer. It's really nice. And then for highlight concealer, I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Coffee. You know, 
this isn't all that bright either. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stick with this. I don't wanna have like layers and layers of concealer on. Uh, I love both of those concealers. If y'all haven't tried Jouer's concealers, I highly recommend them. Uh, the only downfall is you can only get them online. You kinda just gotta, you know, hope for the best. Place your order and hope for the best. That's what I've been doing. What we've all been doing lately out here in these streets. Eyeshadow primer left us. They left like. To set my concealer, I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honeymoon. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Cool Earth. Hi, right, I'm starting to feel cute. It's happening. I will fix my lash glue in a second. Hold on. I'm using this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Stay Eyeliner in the shade Lasting Brown. Underneath my eyes, I'm using the shades Coconuts and Sunrise. Oh my gosh, I'll have to get with my mustache ASAP. Come on, girl. Okay, the inside of my eye here was giving me issues. I tried my best to put a little bit more glue down and put some black shadow on top to kind of hide it. So that's all I can do, child, all right? Next up, I'm gonna bronze up my nose using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. Y'all know what? I don't really like the way that um, Morphe eyeshadow base looks. Also, that eyeliner pen, that eyeliner pen is transferring. It happened to me yesterday too. So that eyeliner is actually shit. Oh, it looks so bad. It looks like I've been crying and I have not for once. Let's see if I can fix it with some concealer. I'm gonna go back over this with um, eyeshadow too because it just took away that yellow highlight. Put some powder on top of this. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade 40 tan. So now I'm going back with that shade, that shimmery shade sun rays. Just gonna put that back. I wanna buy some new blushes, y'all. Let me know some good places. Let me know some good companies to get some blushes from. I'm using the BH Cosmetics new blush kit and I'm using this darker shade down here. I'm feeling some new blushes and honestly when I looked at the Fenty ones I'm not really feeling those shades and the one shade that I did want when I looked at the swatches it didn't look the way that it looked in the pan so I'm not really I don't really want any of the Fenty blushes so y'all let me know for highlighter I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome in 100 Molten Gold I'm also going to use this for my nose highlight. For lip liner, I'm using MAC Chestnut. I forgot to put on bottom mascara, y'all. For lipstick, I'm using the Juvia's Place, the shade Toffee. Oh, this is so pretty. To set my face, I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. What do you think? Do you like it? Am I cute? Thank you so much for getting ready with me. If you like this video, if you had a good time, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, I talk back. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I go live every other Sunday for makeup and mimosas. I will put the date of the next live at the top of the screen here. Grab you a drink and join me. It is so much fun. If you like reality TV shows and celebrity gossip and things like that, follow my other channel, Now We've Said It. I will put the link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.